I think Floyd's scared. He's scared to fight, like an actual fight where you can fight the opponent, so he wants to box. He likes to wear those really big gloves with the big padding, and if he wanted to do that, we could wear those big gloves so he feels comfortable and he feels safe, and we can have rules where we can't go to the ground just, just so he feels safe. Because I know Floyd wouldn't fight me with small gloves, and I know he wouldn't fight me with no rules, so we can wear his big pillow gloves and we can be re really nice and not go to the ground and we can box because that's the only way he'll do it because he's a little sensitive like <laughs> that he's don't want to get hurt and wants to stay comfortable and so i would do that for him about to just get up right now and fry some deer heart to start my day. These little kittens are such turds. Oh, now there's a fight. They're just trading hands right now. Oh yes, they have cat like reflexes. <laughs> No, these are some Jocko supplements right here. We got some Joint Warfare, and uh, and then this is uh, this is called the old Cold War right here. Is this immunity, and this is for your joints. I take three of these and two of these every day. Hey man, this stuff will jack you up. If you're trying to go to bed, don't drink you one of these right here. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna get jacked. You're gonna be moving and grooving. Yeah, I'm not the most educated person. I can pronounce every ingredient that goes into this. If you can't look at the back of it and pronounce it, it probably ain't good for you. I eat bacon grease actually with the spoon. I like to take this. This is really good for the body. You get your spoon and you just, no, I'm just kidding. Don't, that's disgusting. <laughs> I'm putting in a bowl. I cook eggs and stuff and I'm gonna cook this deer heart and some bacon grease. This is some heart. I'm just gonna Cut it up in some thin slices and fry it. It's part of my diet. Look at that, man. Woo! This right here is the most nutritious stuff you put in your body pound for pound. Man, that's going to be fuel for all day long. Yeah, the cutting board, man. It's always getting good use over here. Today I'm cutting up a little deer hard on it. Like if I'm really getting into cleaning some meat, I'll put this cutting board across the sink and have my meat pile right here convenient if you're gonna get one of these cutting boards get the big one why would you get one of these and not get the big one uh this this i call it a drip tray or whatever you call it blood collector or whatever but when you're cleaning uh squirrels or deer even catfish got a lot of blood in them some of them do this little cavity here will fill up with blood and you'll pour it out in the sink and so all that blood don't go all over the floor and which that's what used to happen. I just used to take a towel and clean it up because blood went all over the floor. All right, here we go. Just gonna put the good pieces on first. Woo! Uh, this is Matt, Coach Matt's friend. Registered. Registered, baby. Boom. You good breakfast though. You good for breakfast. Well, this is our breakfast of champions, man. You got the Jocko Go. A little bit of deer heart fried up with some bacon grease. That's all I need. Hey, everybody says I fight with heart, man. Everybody says I got heart. That's where you get heart from, right here. You eat the heart, and then you'll have heart. Bryce is physically maturing through his career in the UFC, and that is just beginning. Sean Ross not only knows how to build stronger, faster athletes, but he knows how to do it in a safe way. He's the perfect fit for Bryce and really any fighter that we have. Well, Bryce worked with me right before he got the submission of the night with the twister. What's been different with this camp with Bryce is we've been a lot more consistent. We're just trying to make Bryce the best Bryce that he can be. I'll just get warmed up and we're gonna get right to it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. And part of that's having a good professional strength conditioning program 
and to uh, maximize his potential where he won't get in and get manhandled from somebody being a lot stronger than him. All my opponents have always been bigger. You know, I've really learned how to fight opponents who are bigger and stronger and use leverage and, and timing and speed against them. And now that I'm equally strong, I take the skills that I learned when I wasn't stronger and, uh, and apply it to some of these guys and it's I'm just kind of bullying them. He's kind of deceptively athletic. You wouldn't look at him and think he'd be that great of an athlete and stuff. He picks up the exercise really well, has a really good base of strength on him. Said he's feeling strong with his training. Uh, his weight's up. We're trying to get his weight consistently up. He pushes a really high intensity, got a great motor where he doesn't need a whole lot of uh, rest between sets. It's kind of like when Donald Trump was running for president the first time, his motto was, we've got to let Donald be Donald. And with Bryce, it's like, you've got to let Bryce Mitchell be Bryce Mitchell. It's Donald Trump, baby. We want lower taxes, and we want the government out of our business. We don't want all these liberals taking over. We don't like socialism. I don't like socialism. I like getting what I work for. Half the time he comes in, he doesn't wear shoes, or he might have camo on, or uh, have wet shorts from being out fishing or something. but. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's in here and he's, he puts 100% intensity when he's in here. They're staying on just, just barely though. You can't put him in with everybody else. You've got to let him be him. Bryce is unique in a lot of ways. He has an indomitable spirit. He really has a will that can't be broken. You're going to have to knock him out, choke him unconscious, or break a limb. I'm not sure breaking a limb would work. He never concedes. Yeah, it's, it's really useful to have the strength, uh, have equal strength as your opponent. It's, it's real beneficial, and that's obvious. Towards the end of his career, the cuts will probably be a lot tougher, a lot more like most of the 45ers. But right now, it's, a, it's not a fun cut, but um, we're never worried about him not making weight. We're my buddy Rob's. Well, firstly, Rob is a true friend, and Rob is also a shaman. You know, chefs cook stuff, plumbers work on plumbing, and this this dude heals the body, and that's that's what he does. And he truly studies it, and I respect anybody that has that much passion for their field. But yeah, he's he's always working on me, uh, especially right before fights. You're, you're not gonna tell me that that he doesn't have some type of skill or knowledge. It's I I can feel the results. I wanted to be a surgeon when I was young, and by the time I was 18, I knew I didn't want to basically go through the school and the law that's involved with it. Yeah, massage was like a good option, and it's been a great career. I've learned a lot of energetic work as far as traditional Chinese medicine, which is Taoism, has to do with yin yang. And then uh, I learned a ton of Western medicine as far as what you would think of as PT assistant. And for instance, like, <clears throat> You know, Thug's back is a little tight today. We're working on the calves, we're gonna work hamstrings, we're gonna work glutes, all the way up basically to his shoulders, you know? He's smart, man. You know, he recognizes his body's limits. He's always focused on the right things. He keeps good training of partners around. He's not afraid to say no when it's time to say no. I remember I was going through a time period where I was late for the gym, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes every time. And Thug was straight up like, dude, you can't ride with me, bro. <laughs> you know, this is my job. He's always stayed true to his friends and he'll call it like it is. He allows me to call it like it is. I respect it. So I just put two salt licks out today and a bag of corn just the other day. And I couldn't help to start thinking very dearly about all the deer that are gonna be back there. Yeah, I can't wait to get out there and uh, you know, put some meat on the table. That's what it's all about. It's all about eating clean. The only thing I don't eat is the eyeballs and the brain. And I think I'm about to start eating the eyeballs and the brains. I had a buddy the other day tell me I just mixed the brain up with scrambled eggs. And I'm about to start trying that. Because if you think about it, it's brain's gonna go straight to your brain. It's not brain surgery. I can tell you that probably the best part of Arkansas is it is the natural state, you know. Always good food available. And uh, it's been nice having friends and clients who, you know, slaughter hogs and have their own cows and stuff. It's good. Most people don't know what a shaman is. They say he works on the body. He does therapy. And they'll say, oh, he's a massage. Say, no, it ain't a massage. <laughs> it's pinching and it's pulling and it's twisting. And there's massage incorporated in it. It's healing is what it is. Dude, thank you so much, dude. That was awesome.
so I recently took up painting and uh, Thug recently called out Floyd Mayweather. So I went ahead and uh, painted Thug knocking out Floyd Mayweather right here. So we got Rogan right there and uh, he's got a nice little third eye going on up here. And that's Annex little crazy ass perfectly shaped head and that's uh, Cormier. That fan. Finale. <laughs> that's awesome man. There you go. Cause this is uh like you said the screen the uh bro. Yeah, man that's awesome it would happen if he would take the fight i think he's scared i think floyd's scared <laughs> <laughs>